Hey guys, my name's Omar, and uh, I just bought this Scut um, Potter's Wheel, the premier model with the uh, SSX uh, add-on. And I wanted to shoot a video, like an in-depth video. I'm a, so I, I've done slip casting for two to three years. I just uh, threw in the wheel for the first time yesterday, and I'm all in on wanting to learn how to throw and continue to learn how to throw. So I went out and bought this. <laughs> I've also got uh, a chair add-on that I'm gonna be putting on today. I think that's from uh, a different company. I don't know the name of it, I'll have to look it up. But I'm gonna do an in-depth uh, unboxing as best that I can and setting it up and just showing that. So that's what this video is. So let's get right into it. Uh, they got these heavy duty straps, packing straps. Or is it good? There we go. Look at that. Looks pretty great. Um, <laughs> no instructions on how to take this off. That's going to be fun. Okay, so this was actually not that hard to figure out. Um, also, this thing is freaking heavy duty. This is serious. Uh, there's these two pins that like kind of lock here. And set it down I just had to turn it enough to get it off and underneath the box in here was the instructions manual so oh this is cold okay that feels great so we'll get that out the way that's called a 14 inch wheel head I'm assuming this is called a tray because that's what it, it, it is like I said I'm new to all of this uh, completely I've, of course watched videos of people throw a little bit but I have no knowledge and uh, that's why I want to document this whole experience. All right, cool. So now we've got these little guys. Back it up. Oh, you can you back it up? Better? Thank you. Awesome. I got my daughter helping me, guys. So, all right, cool. I think once that comes out, I would assume this comes out. Wow. I'm gonna feel really bad throwing this box away because this just seems so nice. And now probably comes the 100 pound part where this is gonna get lifted out. Can you back the camera up a lot so that way I don't uh, hit anything? And just kind of follow me as I move this, I guess, so they can see how this is gonna be. Um, now, I'm a bigger guy. I'm sure I'm fine lifting this. I would get help if I weren't doing this by myself. Yeah, I don't recommend that. <laughs> Definitely want to get somebody to help you with what I just did. I'm gonna get the foot pedal out now. Oh, man, really great packaging by Scott. Holy smokes. Okay, cool. So I'll go ahead and put all this back in here and move it out the way. Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna set this guy up here. It's tiny. It's tiny. Does a lot for its small size. Okay, so let's open this box. So far, as someone who has no idea what he's looking at and no idea what he's doing, I'm very happy with my purchase and very impressed uh, by Scott's amazing, uh, amazing packaging here. Also, this isn't uh, an advertisement or anything. I don't want you guys to think they've like uh, swindled me. It's to say all these nice it's things. Not it's not sponsored, as the kids say. Okay, cool. We'll pause here. So this foot pedal is, as a musician uh, who used to mess around with foot pedals, this is super heavy duty cast metal. I don't know what metal, but it's legit. It's like aluminum. Maybe so, but it's nice. Just want to do a close up of that. There was also the uh, Potter's Rule Operations Manual, which is uh, very extensive. <laughs> Not really, it's just like two or three pages. Um, it gives you some basic information, a lot of safety and uh, operations information. I'm pretty sure you can find all this on their website if you did lose a sheet of paper. Gives me some type of control box, wiring diagram here. Uh, the warranty, which I know is a really, really good warranty, five years. 
from the date of purchase for both materials and workmanship. That's, that's pretty great. Um, this is, of course, the Premier model. It is the one horsepower, 12.8 uh, amp. Uh, it's got a 15, uh, the, the amp is a 15 uh, amp, 110, 120 volts. So it also gave me, they gave me a kiln catalog, I guess, you know, sales, right? And the Potter's Wheel catalog, uh, which I've already seen. And then these things here, it gave me a, a Loctite lubricant of some sort, a LB808 anti-siege. I'll need to read about this. Um, don't know if these are replacement parts or parts I'm gonna have to use here in a minute, but I'll find out. So, cool. Okay, so the, the hardware that came in the box is actually for the wheel. Um, I just, you know, don't know what I'm doing, so that's fine. So I know that these go here and that these, uh, which they don't show what direction, but I'm assuming uh, would go this direction because it gives me the grip on that end. Um, I don't know, maybe this way? We're just going to go this way. All right, yeah, that works. And get those in there pretty snug. And these kind of help guide the bat as far as I know. Like I said, uh, somebody's going to correct me in the comments. And I'm all for it. Uh, all for that. So, like I said, you've got an inexperienced potter here putting together a really nice wheel. So, I'm going to put this in like this. Also, am I putting this on right? Let me know. <laughs> Scut somebody. All right, cool. So this locking mechanism is really neat. Uh, you go, you go in, over and in, and you go counterclockwise. If I can get it to line up, there we go. And then counterclockwise, yeah. Okay, cool. And then the back goes on top like so, like this. Oh, and I did it. Cool, and if I turn this bad boy on, look at that. That's a lot of horses. Super quiet and smooth. Wow. Awesome. So this is, if you wanted to know, it's over. Here, you can pause it. Sorry. I also went all in on this, uh, this, uh, Hold on. Universal okay. bat system from North Star Equipment. Is it recording? Yeah? Okay, cool. Um, I've got children. Sorry. Uh, North Star Equipment. Apparently, they make quality ceramic equipment. Probably made in the USA. And this was their Universal Medex, Medex bat system. And uh, seems legit. Um, all I know is that you get all these different pieces and instead of having to remove your whole bat you can just pop these guys out let it dry yeah seems seems nice though I uh, kind of wish this would sit a little more flush I'm not gonna lie uh, I might I don't know how I can shimmy that up unless if I put something in here maybe they maybe they have something I'm missing I'm supposed to put in here I just wish that was that's just my OCD like I said I don't know if that's gonna even make a difference I just want that to sit flush okay cool uh, you can flip it over and it's just a normal bat. So yeah, if you don't like this system and you just want to treat it as a normal bat, you can do that too, I guess. That's At least that's that's my guess for me just flipping that over. So I like that too, but I'm probably going to try this out. All right. So yeah, this, it, it literally says here in the instructions manual that the pocket in the bat is cut slightly deeper than the thickness of the bat insert a 30 seconds to a 16th of an inch deeper. This allows for expansion of the insert due to water absorption during the setting in period. So that's cool. So it should be a little less than, uh, than that after you use it for a bit. So cool. I'll have to break this thing in and see how that works. So this concludes uh, the, the unboxing of my first ever wheel, the Scut one horsepower professional model. I think this one's called Premier model with the SSX uh, motor upgrade or the, the board upgrade. So yeah, I, like I said, have no experience as to what I'm doing. I'm going in blind and I'm going to see how far I get with this, but I'm overall for my first one, I'm really stoked and can't wait to see what this thing can do. And I'll be sure to do a, uh, 
What's wrong? What? Contact. Eye contact. I'm eye contacting. My daughter wants me to make eye contact. I'll be sure to upload a a like review maybe uh, after a year. I need to give it a full year. So maybe I'll do like a six month update and then a year a year review. Uh, but yeah. I'm gonna get better at this, the editing, I think. Uh, anyways, uh, the end. Uh, here's some B-roll of the wheel all set up. Um, I'm very much in love with this thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, a lot of ums in here, but I'm excited to own this wheel and I'm very excited to be using it. I look forward to making more content with it here soon. Here's some, uh, some behind the scenes of me and my daughter. Uh, she threw a little bowl. Uh, which was awesome. We both have gotten very involved with this. I hope to get my whole family involved with this wheel. And it's been a really good creative outlet as someone who's coming from the slip casting side. I also made a bowl. Anyways, hope you guys have a good one. Take care.